Reddick, nobody had him leading the scoring with the addition of Tobias Harris. And Harris happy to help get a W in night number one. Nothing short of blessed. I mean, I truly am uh, to be able to come into a new home, to beat a great team, to do it with my teammates, uh, get off to a good start, it feels great. So I'm, I'm truly blessed. I can't, can't ask for no more. Starting alongside Ben, Joel, Jimmy, and JJ, you said yesterday how much talent this team has, but now you actually got to play with them. What did you learn about this group? Some heck of basketball players. Guys that know how to play. Um, and, and very talented. It's a talented group. And you saw it in a lot of pockets of the game how good we can be. So we got a long ways to go, but I think that's the great thing about this team is that uh, how much growth can be made. You know, I said it as we got into the highlight, and we talked about this as we talked about Harris as a guy getting moved. Even though he has a ton of talent and ability, he's got that old – and I don't want to say old, but that what we used to call that glue guy, that thing where he's willing to do anything and fill any role. How much because of that does he become, Smitty, the right guy maybe to help the big three? Uh, B. Woods said it best. He could fit in in most styles. I mean, I, I would say 95% of the league he could fit in. One thing about him is he doesn't need a lot of dribbles. You can see he doesn't complain. He cuts without the basketball. He's giving you 21 points, close to eight rebounds before he was traded to the, the, the Philadelphia 76ers, I just love the way he can get his points, B-Wood, and not take away from the offense or not take away from other guys. The game, his game is complete, and it's efficient, and that's what you want. When you're, when you're putting a guy beside stars, you want a guy that can get his own on nights when you need that, mm -hmm. but at the same time on nights where you just swing the, where you just swing the ball around, he can get it. See, right here, look at him. Jamal Murray, that's very, very, very bad defense, but Tobias Harris taking advantage of the mismatch. He's, he's big, he has size, that's something he can do. He can post up. Now this is another aspect, you see him spotted up, goes right to his jump shot, pump fake, real smooth, but then he doesn't have to force up a jumper because his game is well balanced, it's very versatile. You see him finding Ennis in the corner for the three point shot. Now once again, he's, on the, he's trailing right here, he keeps cutting. Goes to post up, does a little bit of dirty work. Goes in there, gets an offensive rebound, and one. Now he's once again running down the fast break. He's looking, he's looking for the jumper. Okay, you see me? All right, not gonna close out? Cool, I can knock it down in your face. The versatility, when you look at all those highlights, you're seeing Tobias Harris do something different in each one. That basically sums up his game in a nutshell. Whatever you need, he can go out there and do it, and that's why he's gonna be so uh, vital to this team. Philadelphia right now is, is a team that you really have to take seriously as getting out of the Eastern Conference and making it to the NBA Finals. They might have the second best starting five in the league after Golden State Warriors. I want to ask you guys about that because we had an active deadline, right? First time the three of us have chatted about it. And the East in the upper bracket, if you will, for what the three of us will be doing in a few weeks, you've got the Sixers who have active, right? Gasol to the Raptors, Miritich, Milwaukee, Celtics, did I miss something with the Celtics? No, they didn't nope, do nope, didn't do anything. What does that mean now when you look forward? Because everybody seemed to believe that Boston was just kind of going to take this home and nobody was really paying attention to the one seed Milwaukee or where Philly was because they thought they had issues or even Toronto. How does it look now? Well, right, let's start off with Philly. What I love is they got a chance to add Tobias Harris and B. Wood said it best. Probably the second best starting five in my opinion as well. But I think it also addressed their bench. That's the one thing I was concerned with before this trade. But they added Mike Scott. They added Mike Boban. So they've added some guys, James Ennis the third. So they've added and guys. Jonathan Simmons too. And Jonathan yes, Simmons. Sir. So you look at now, they have a deep bench. They have guys who fit in. They have guys who fit in with the style of Embiid and also Ben Simmons.